What's up, guys? And nice to see you here. I'm coming back to recording Transformers 2. I'm gonna have to get a bit, uh, I'm gonna have to get something so I could get a closer shot, cause just looking into the screen, I could tell that. Um. Yeah, you're not seeing it that well. But, um. You know. Yeah, as most of you probably know, Sideswipe was pretty much confirmed finished after Transformers 4, so I came back and played as him, and, and playing as him in Transformers 2 in his memory, because Sideswipe was an awesome character. Like, ever since Transformers 2, I've liked Sideswipe. He was a cool one. He's also been a bot to appear in Transformers Robots in Disguise. And. But never in the Michael Bay movie. I hear that our people have been saying, Kill Bumblebee, and we want Sides White back. At least that's what I hear some YouTubers say. But. But in my opinion. In my opinion, I really like Bumblebee. Yeah, I wouldn't rather have him killed off or sideswipe back, but I would like sideswipe back. That's that's not no question asked that I would like sideswipe back. Um But yeah, there's also a couple other transformers here that we're here for. So let's just No, 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 we're also here to say goodbye to a couple of the characters who in the movie weren't really shown that much but in the game are awesome so one we're here for is a very important one in the movie and it's pretty awesome in the game right now we are here for Jetfire I said it, Jetfire Honestly, what he did was very, you know, cool, because he literally ripped out his own spark for Optimus to live and defeat the Fallen. So, he had a very big role in the Transformers movies. He, um, is awesome. He's awesome in the no, game. I'm Skittles! Okay, we'll do the game. Honestly, I kind of wish he'd survive to the third one, but... Yeah, he had to sacrifice himself so Optimus could defeat the Fallen. There wouldn't have been a Transformers 3. And there wouldn't have been a Transformers 3 if Jetfire hadn't sacrificed himself. And if there was a Transformers 3, it'd only be pretty much Decepticons and barely any, probably, but the surviving Autobots after the Battle of Egypt, with their, which there probably wouldn't be many, because, yeah, the Decepticons won and they finished it off. But, but Jetfire was an awesome character. If he didn't have to sacrifice himself, then I definitely would have preferred that. Because he was a cool character. He took out Mixmaster and Scorponok. I think that's what she's called. Scorponok. But yeah, Jetfire was a, I wish Jetfire had survived to the third one. De I definitely would have preferred that. So there is. 
his appearance in the game. Can you back up? Oh god, now I've got my face in the wall. God. But yeah, this is Jetfire. He, he could apparently bring electricity out with his hands. I don't know why. If he could do that in the game, then why didn't he do it in the movie? And if he couldn't do it in the movie, then why did they put it in the game? Oh wait, yeah, he did do it in the movie because yeah, Space Bridge thing. I think that was I think was it Ground Bridge or Space Bridge? I'm gonna have to go look at that to see if it was a Ground Bridge or a Space Bridge. But yeah, guys, Jeffar, remember him. I got like an hour of recording on this thing, so I'm probably going to be able to get a lot of them. Let's go to the sandstorm. Is there anybody else in the Autobots team? Oh yeah, right. Uh, first I'll do Jazz. Guys, tell me if you like this, because I don't really like it, because you can barely see the screen. I'm going to have to get a mirror for recording. Oh yeah, here is Jazz. He's available in the second game through a download, download and the um, extra characters and maps thing, just like this map is from the extra characters and map thing. You won't be able to play on this map originally. Honestly, I think it would have been cool to add, um, Barricade, Brawl, and Bone Crusher in this game, too, because they, were, they weren't playable in the first one, nor, well, Barricade was, but he, you never, you, you really could wish that you, don't lie when you, when you say you don't wish that you could play as him, because, in, in multiplayer, because I know you do, I know you do wish that you could. But yeah, Jazz was a kind of a cool character. The, the reason I say kind of is because you never really got to know him or his abilities. Because, like, he had potential to be cool. I could, every Autobot does, but... You, you know, you know Michael Bay. He's just gonna kill... Well, he had to kill off Jazz in the first one. Why couldn't it be a character nobody really... Well, he pretty much, he pretty much killed the other one, so I'd pretty much get none of them a chance to get really shown too much on screen. Like, then, then if it wasn't Jazz and it was Ironhide, then you never would have gotten to see Ironhide's awesomeness or Ratchet. You never would have got to see his coolness, even though he didn't have much, because it's Ratchet. He's more of a medic than a fighter. But he fights a lot more in this series than he does in the... Well, he he did, because, you know, I'll talk about it a after this. But yeah, Jazz sadly was killed off in the first one, and we never got to really know much about his character. He appeared early in the movie so he could get to... What? Video? I'm making a YouTube video! Yeah, but he appeared early in the movie, so he could get to know a little bit about Jazz, but then at towards the end of the movie during the fight, yeah, he killed him off. But yeah. That's pretty much the story for Jazz, because there's not much of a story to him, because he died in the first one. So you didn't really get to know much about Jazz, but I hear that in a lot of other series, like Transformers Robots in Disguise, Jazz is super cool in the... in those. 
Jesus. And he is pretty strong in in the game, but he wasn't really strong in the movie. Cause, well, he he was at least able to mask with one Decepticon and not get wrecked, or not get flung to the top of the building and ripped in half. Uh, so, yeah. That's basically it for this. The only Decepticon he got to fight without getting absolute, without getting beaten on, is probably Brawl. Because he didn't survive to bite Blackout. He fought Megatron, but he got ripped in half. He never got to fight with Starscream. Barricade went missing after Barricade went missing after the um, highway chase thing. So yeah, he only got to fight like two Decepticons. Barely the second one because all he had, all he did was shoot him a couple times and then he just shot. Then he did have, he got shot from to the top of the building and shot him a couple more times and then got ripped in half. So yeah, that's pretty much Jazz's story. Now let's move on to the next character. If you're wondering why I'm sounding so, like, dull right now, it's because... Oh yeah, we still got a couple on the Autobot side. Where's the first one? Who are we, which one are we going to do first? No, I think I'll do... You know what, I think I'll save one of the coolest for last. Oh, I feel... It's like 9.44 in the morning, and that's why I'm sounding like so unexcited right now. So yeah, Ratchet. He wasn't much of a fighter, he was more of a medic, which makes me kind of... Why does he look gold right now? Why does he look gold? Oh, I forgot to show you Jazz's face! Gosh! And did I forget to show you his ability, too? Ugh, I'll have to show that later. But yeah, here's Ratchet's face in the... In the thing, it looks kind. Of, it's it looks a lot witter than in the movie. But yeah, Ratchet was kind of a cool character. He never really got like he was more of a medic than a fighter, which is why he never really interested me in the movies. Uh, but in the games, why does he look gold right now? In the game, he is pretty cool though, cause well, th in this one he could heal himself. Like, if you get away from the Decepticon and you're like barely alive, you could just turn on his ability if it's charged, and you could just just heal yourself, with boost yourself before it heal. They'll wait there a little more before the Decepticon find you. And um then take then take them out if we can before Yeah. But that, yeah, but Ratchet never was really When he gets back when I see him on uh, this, when I saw him on this, um, best incarnations of Ratchet list, he, he based this one, this one got number five based off his, his design. Which just goes to show that a lot of people don't like these movies. Especially that guy.
Does anyone show you Jazz a charge attack? So yeah, this is Ratchet. He died in the forest when we were getting chased by a walk down in Cemetery Wind, which was kind of stupid because he got killed by humans and he's a giant transformer. What sense does that make? I mean, they did pretty much blow him up and blow his leg off. So morning. Ugh, now I'm gonna have to go back to Jazz real quick to show you his stuff. Hurry up so I can show them the last things of Jazz. I didn't show you his chart of the deck, at least I don't think I did. And I didn't show you his face, so I'm just gonna go do that right now and get to the last Autobot on this, uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna even bother showing you Jazz's... Yeah, I'm not gonna even bother telling you the story about Jazz again. But here's his charge and attack. And here's his face. His design... His design and car in the movie were really cool. But here's the last thing, which is his special ability. Basically just give him a speed boost. It doesn't even give you it for that long. So yeah. Jazz is cool, but he of course could use some improvement. Okay, so time for the last Autobot memory. Then we'll move on to Decepticons. And of course, you guessed it. It is. Just wait for it to load. Of course, as you suspected, it is Ironhide. Yep. It's finally time to get back to one of the coolest kit transformers in the series, other than Optimus and Bumblebee. I'm not showcasing them because it's not confirmed which ones. Well, it looks like it looks like Optimus is gonna kill Bumblebee with the sword, but then in the second one you see him smash his head with a hammer. At least it looks like it. You never got to see the aftermath. But yeah, Ironhide is cool in the games. He can in this he could deploy a turret. He's still in, he's still available in games like um. Like, um, even in Dark Spark, which is supposed to be Age of Extinction, he's still playable. But only because you got to see a bit of Cybertron in that. But since, uh, it looks like Transformers 5 might be in medieval times, that means you might see him in his old appearance one more time, guys. One more time. One, one more time for Ironhide in the Michael Bay series, maybe. It's possible. Um, I'm pretty sure it said he wasn't going to be in the movie, but it never said he was going to, like, do much. Just because just cause he wasn't, it, like, because he might not do much. That's all I'm saying. He could possibly be seen in the movie because it's, because some of them take place before a lot of Autobot deaths, like Jazz, and, um, yeah, even before Jazz's death, which, hard to tell is really cool. That would be awesome if they could show Ironhide and Jazz and stuff like that for one more time in the series. But, yeah, I loved Ironhide as a character. I know a couple of my friends, like, uh, a couple of my friends at school did really wish Ironhide didn't die. And, cause Ironhide, he was very, he was very much liked. And, it I was like, when I, 
when I saw Transformers 3 for the first time and saw him die, I was like, what? Yeah, like, I, I was like in complete shock that a character like Ironhide was taken out so easily. And of course, there are characters on this list. Also, there are a couple of characters I want to mention that aren't playable in this game. Like, uh, let me think. There's... Oh yeah, RC was in the... RC, Little One, and Chromia were in the second one, but they were never playable in the games. Or given a big role, which was very disappointing. Because... You know, you really wish characters could be could get a little more showcasing than they do. Like this guy puts like this dude Michael Bay puts them in or this dude Michael Bay puts the characters in the movie and then just kills them off. Even though and and it doesn't even make sense cause, cause and like stuff like G one there are characters that were showcased and 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 in the movie verse, there are characters from from the original series G one that had a had a big role in G one, but they but they barely showcase anything of them in transform in Transformers movie verse, which I find kind of stupid. You gotta work on that, babe. You gotta work on that, cause big role Transformers in G one, not giving them a big role at all. In your series, that makes no sense. But yeah, let's see who else. Oh yeah, Wheeljack slash Q. He was killed by barricade in the um Chicago War. And um. Yeah, he w some guy shot him. He was like, "Why did you?" Then barricade shot him in the back and and finished the old Autobot. From what I heard, nobody really liked Wheeljack anyway. So even though Michael Bay, like, why does Michael Bay give like characters like that big roles and just kills them off and? Yeah, the uh, look. I just, I just don't get. I just don't get some of the stuff he does with his characters. I really don't. Okay, is there anybody else? Ugh. Sentinel Prime being an auto out, I guess, because he pretty much turned to Decepticons. Which I I don't even want I don't even want to mention him because he's not a good character. He was like I hated him in the movies, especially because he killed the guy I'm playing as right now. Which a lot of a lot of my friends don't like Sentinel Prime either. Some guy some guys at school call him a real punk. Not specifically a punk word, much worse than punk. A lot of people call Sentinel much worse words than punk, cause me, a lot of it cause he killed Ironhide. That's a lot of reasons. At first, you know, I thought Sentinel was gonna be a nice guy, I thought he could be a cool character in the movie, and then boom, he just betrays the Autobots, which got me really angry. And I never liked Sentinel ever again. He could have been cool if he stayed in Autobot, but then he turned into a Septicon and had to mess it up. So yeah, nobody cares about Sunsmill. I shouldn't. I shouldn't mention him in this list at all. I'm only mentioning characters that were cool in this list, or had potential to be at least. The reason, the main reason I showed Wheeljack in this is because. He's really cool in a lot of other series, like Trans of Transformers and like G1. So I think that's pretty much it for um, the Autobots team. Let me think.
Oh yeah, there's the uh, the wreckers. Um, Leadfoot, we saw die on camera. Um, and Top Spin and Robuster, uh, we're not exactly confirmed for them yet, but we could. But from what Hound said in the fourth one, that that they're all that's left, um, pretty much confirms everybody else is dead. Which also goes to show that R.I.P. Dino, A.K.A. Mirage, because in the game he's awesome. He's really cool in the games, but of course it got in a flash, cause you know Michael Bay. So let's move on to the Septicons. Oh yeah, there's also mud flapping skids who were annoying too. So who to mention first? Who to mention first? Who to mention first? Okay, let's start off with this guy, Megatron. Of course, you know a lot about him. He he he. Even though he's not completely dead, I'm still gonna talk about him. Cause he died. Cause I really liked his appearance in the first three. Like, his design was cool, but his character after the first one got kind of stupid. Cause he was like. He was like serving people pretty much after the first one. Like. He pretty much let himself get bossed around by the Fallen. He got bossed around by Sentinel. Uh, but then he got angry and killed pretty much, well, almost killed Sentinel. He just shot him up a lot and just absolutely ripped, like, ripped a lot of his metal parts off. I don't know. I haven't watched it in a while. But Megatron? He, um, saved Optimus's life. But Optimus decided to return the favor by ripping off his head. Which, yeah, that's a great way to repay somebody for saving your life. Ripping their head off is a great way. But Megatron, he wasn't done after the first one. Not, no, not the first one, the third one. It, for everybody th who thought he was done with the series, was definitely wrong. Do you not remember that he became Galvatron G1? Then he turned to Galvatron in uh, Age of Extinction, where uh, in all the his presence too. And for those of you who watched G1, once you heard the KSI guy call him Galvatron, you must have been like, he's back, he's back, Galvatron aka Megatron is back. And yes, I know a lot about G1 because I've been looking up, because I saw some stuff on this about G1, then I looked up some of it on YouTube, and yeah, I've seen some stuff for G1, so I don't think I haven't, but yeah, Megatron is also supposed to be returning in the new one, and um, going back to Megatron too. ring himself of KSI um, technology and going back to Megatron instead of Galvatron. Cause honestly, I really, I'm really, I really kind of miss the old appearances. The only, the only Autobot who's even getting close to going back to his old appearance is probably Bumblebee. 
The only difference is the car and the thing he has on his chest for the car. So, yeah, that's Megatron. Oh, uh, well, I'm, pro I'm probably going to miss a lot of the old appearances, like the, like the Transformers 1 and 2 one, though. So here's Megatron's face. So yeah, I'm gonna miss his old appearance. He was awesome. So let's get to the next guy. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm tired and it's only... And it's done all... So, another guy we're here for is going to be Soundwave Superior. <laughs> yeah, but Soundwave, we're basically here to, right here, we're doing Soundwave. But yeah. He is playable in the Transformers. This is his jet mode, which I always thought was pretty cool. Yeah, he could deploy something like something that looks like laser beak. But if I go down here when my thing is done, I'll be able to Summon something that's supposed to resemble rumble. You could do this uh, it just in case that you're like stuck somewhere in between buildings. But yeah, that's lays that's supposed to be laser beak guys. That's supposed to be laser beak. But here's something that's supposed to resemble rumble. Yeah, Soundwave only appeared for the um, second and third one. Where he was killed off in the third one. By Bumblebee by getting shot. Like, Bumblebee put his hand in his, um, chest and opened a fire and, ba and basically just blew, he, he just blew him up. He blew, he like blew Soundwave head off. Yeah, Soundwave is awesome. His Sonic Cannon is also awesome. But I'm just going to go back to Megatron one more time because I used the flight thing. So I'm going to go back to Megatron one more time so you can see his uh, tank mode. And it looks like... We're already 34 minutes in. God. But I gotta get all the characters in this. So, I'm just gonna quickly do Megatron. Do the, all, uh, the other Decepticons that died and maybe give you one online match with other people. Simple as that. But. So, here is Tank Megatron. He can't fly, he can only turn into a tank. This is what he looks like doing the fusion cannon in tank mode. So yeah, this is his tank mode. Here, Here's what he looks like without wings. But yeah. Not much difference, just the fact that the other one can fly and the other one can 
and this one can't. So yeah, let's get out of here now. Bop, 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 bop. There's also going to be two characters for one guy. Okay. Here is the long haul. So, I'm just going to... Mm -hmm. My back hurts. My back hurts right now, guys. So, yeah. Here is long haul... Like, this guy is basically like the Decepticon muscle group. He's got a flamethrower in this. He had not that many appearances in the uh, movie, he, but you can see him. The, one of the biggest parts you see him is when he's getting blown up by the, um... Is when you see him getting blown up by the airstrike, sent in by the humans. He's in this. He's like he, he shares the same special ability as Ratchet. Shooting, not shooting. Um, yeah, with the health ability thing. But yeah, he he is also presumed to be in the uh, third movie as that one little head guy from the Transformers three named Igor. But yeah, this is Long Haul Space, and but they think his face is supposed to be Igor, which is the small head guy that appears in Transformers 3. People think that's a long haul's head. And to be honest, it could possibly be. That could be long haul up here and maybe Michael Bay just didn't want to finish up with him yet. I don't know what was what he found so special about long haul though because, you know, he it's Michael Bay. Come on guys. I don't know what he, why he let Long Call in for the last time, but yeah, you can only ask. But yeah, this is basically Long Call for you guys. He's a Constructicon. He could form Devastator, but before. I get into, but before I get out, let me let me give the mention for Devastator. He is the Decepticon that was trying to open the pyramid so the Fallen could get to the Harvester, and he pretty much succeeded with that until the military uh, oh thing shot him, and took off and when he landed on the ground his head came off and that was the end of Devastator. He's made up of, of a few Decepticon Constructicons which um which makes you question uh was long haul which me what I don't get is you saw long haul Paul, af like think after the um, Devastator was killed, but I'm pretty sure he's a part of Devastator. Yeah, I'm pretty. Yeah, he's definitely a part of Devastator because I'm pretty sure he's made of Constructicons. But yeah. There's also Demolisher I want to mention. He was killed by Optimus Prime in his first appearance. He had, you know, a medium role. He was destroying the town. He got, and he got one voiceover, which was, this is not your point at all, the Fallen Rise Again. Which, 
Then Optimus said not today and destroys him. And that was the end for Demolisher in this series. So let's get to the next character. Also, I think it's the, um... Rampage guy? He looks like him at, in the Battle of Egypt. I, I always found that his face looks kind of like Demolisher's. So, the next one we got is... Starscream. Oh, my back. I've got like 20 minutes to show these next guys and talk about the next guys. You know what, for the, for the last guys, I'm just going to say the names. But yeah, this is Starscream. He had a very big role. He never died at all until Transformers 3. Survived longer than Megatron, which makes me question why Megatron is leader and Starscream is not, because... Also, he is a lot better... Starscream is a lot better at surviving the attacks than Megatron. Like, every time I play that one level on the Autobot campaign where you have to fight Megatron and Starscream, Megatron is always out, well, most of the time, cause, but, cause, because, some, cause, not all the time, because, because of that time that I just aimed for Starscream first, even though Megatron was a real pain about it, because, yeah, but Starscream is a lot better than Megatron at, at this, which makes me question that Starscream should have been the leader of the whole time and Megatron the second in command trying to overtake Starscream. And trying to and trying to kill Starscream sometimes. But the but the uh, movie verse Starscream is probably the most loyal to Megatron. I have never seen him trying to overthrow Megatron or something. He has never tried that in his life. His special ability in the... His special ability in the game is firing... Um, is once firing his weapon and when it's active if it takes... If it comes into contact with an Autobot or whichever character, depends on which game mode you're on and if Restricted Faction is on. Um, yeah, you can literally, you could literally just slow an Autobot or Decepticon down. Which makes Starscream kind of better than Megatron. The only... The only reason I could see Starscream not beating Megatron in this game is because of his, um, fusion cannon, where once Starscream trying to slow, Starscream can slow him down, but Megatron can still shoot the shoot fusion cannon, and if Starscream is in the right place, then Starscream's out for the count. He will not, he will not, he will be finished. That'll, that would be the end of Starscream, which you don't see, which you don't see until the third one. So yeah, that's it for Starscream, guys. He's like, beside Bumblebee and Optimus as one of my favorite characters. Okay. So let's finish. So let's finish the characters that are on this game. Here, which one to do first? You know what? Let's save the stronger one for last.
Okay, everybody. When it comes to the games, Sideways is stronger than he was in the fur in the second game, which I was disappointed with Sideways in the movie because after finding out how awesome he really is in the game, it made me angry to see a character like him being killed off. And also, one time I was playing in Shanghai with Sideways and a chase started going on between me as Sideways and somebody else's Bumblebee. And surprisingly, I was the one chasing even though I was Sideways. The one being chased in the movie. And I ended up being the victor of that battle. And then Optimus Prime just came in and killed me with his jetpack. Which was the end of me as Sideways. But I really like Sideways in the game. He is an awesome character, and I think he should have gotten a little more than what he got in the movies. I mean, come on, Michael Bay. Give your character some respect for once and stop killing them all the second they get into the movie. Gosh. But yeah, Sideways is a very cool character. I, yeah, I'm gonna show his face off. The reason I didn't show Starscream's face off is because, you know, you pretty much all know what Starscream looks like if you watch the movies. But then again, some of you might not, so I guess I'll go back and show Starscream's face in a minute. Maybe. But yeah, in this movie, he could deploy my, in the mo movie, in this game, he could deploy mines that slow down his enemies. So that is sideways, folks. Now, I'm gonna go back to Starscream, just so you can see his face. Just so we can see his face. Because I'm not explaining him again. As you know, Starscream has a huge story since he survived a while. So let's just get to the closest building and show up. Starscream's face! So, yeah, that's Starscream's face in the game for. Those of you who didn't know. So yeah, let's get to the final character. Okay, so I'm gonna show off the favorite of these characters. My favorite of the characters in the Autobot team and the Decepticon team, okay? So, but the last Decepticon I'm gonna be showing in the game is Grindor slash Blackout. And the reason I say slash Blackout is because they look similar. But... Because I, cause I think, um... Maybe Michael Bay thought maybe we'd want to see more of a, a Blackout because he was the first Transformers we saw in his series. So he... But he killed them off in the first one, so... Instead, he brought out the, um, the character Grindor looking like Blackout, cause, cause Blackout, you know, he was a memorable character. He was the first one you got to see in the series. But Black, but Blackout was sadly finished by Lennox. And, um... Yeah, but in the game, he al he also, in the game, he could also de deploy a turret, just like Ironhide. See, because in Lost So Long Haul and Ironhide are, uh, not Long Haul and Ironhide, Long Haul and Ratchet have the same special ability, as do Blackout and Iron, not, Grindor and Ironhide. So, 
Um, I kind of do wish that Blackout had survived. But yeah, I will, I will never, of course I would have liked Blackout or Grindor to survive. Blackout wasn't te technically wasn't finished and had Grindor take his place. Cause I mean Blackout was the first Transformer you saw. I don't think I think I don't think he you know, originally you'd think it's a you'd think an Autobot would be the first Transformer you see, but in this it happens to be a Decepticon. Named Black And of course, we... And of course, with black blackout slash grindar, we are going to be mentioning characters that aren't in this game. But I do miss a lot. One of them is Barricade, Bumblebee's arch nemesis, technically, because not well, they're not really arch enemies, but. Um, Barricade was the first character you saw when we'll be fighting. And then we have, let's see. Oh yeah, Bone Crusher, which was the second ever thir third Transformer in, in that we saw fighting with humans. Not, not with humans, with, you know humans and Autobots cuz Bonecrusher thought it was what but Bonecrusher did a stupid thing he thought it was wise to take on Optimus where it he t and Optimus then took him out like a piece of cake cuz all he had to do was get him down to the bottom take out his sword smack him with the sword once then then just then he just stabbed him in the face and then ripped off his head. Basically. Well, he didn't rip it off, he just knocked it off. And of course, um, let me think. Of course, there's gonna be more because a lot of Decepticons died. Brawl, he, I really wish he had survived, cause, cause if, cause I, I also wish he, you could have played as him, cause, cause he looked, he looked awesome, basically, he, and it's just not, and it's not just looks I'm basing it on right now. Yeah, he was strong, he threw Jazz, but was defeated by humans and Autobots. Well, technically he was killed by a mobile. But, he, but, he won't, we gotta give him some credit for giving Jazz his first and pretty much only fight in the series because he got killed by Megatron very quickly. Yeah, so that's Blackout. Uh, 
So let's just put, uh, then there's the fall and he was awesome. He was really cool, though never really liked because because of his crazy plan to destroy the sun. Like, that, like, was like, what, I was like, what the heck when I heard his plan the first time. And we've only got, like, five minutes. I gotta hurry up. So, then the last few are... Lockdown? Um... I'm just gonna say the proto forms, cause whatever. Uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Cause, cause I'm definitely not mentioning Sentinel on this list. He killed Ironhide. So, here's the two favorites I have on this list. Sadly, uh, it's not going to be Ironhide or something. But I would like to have Ironhide on this list, definitely. So, my favorites are Starscream and... Where is he? Sideswipe and... and well, it's between Sideswipe and Jetfire. <laughs> but yeah, let's see if we could get at least a little bit into... Not Battle for the Show. So... If we can't... I don't think we're gonna be... I don't think we're gonna make it, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all later. Bye.